Yo, what's up guys? My name is Destiny and welcome back to another video in the charts series using Django and React. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with the front end part of the course, which is actually focusing on working with React and everything that, you know, we have to do for the visual aspects of the project. In the last one, we worked with building all the APIs that we need from the send message API to the list message, to the retrieve, to the set user, to the profile. And there were a lot of APIs that we built in that one that we will start consuming in this one. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my code editor. And as you can see, I already have the front end here. Remember, um, from the from the beginning of the video when we cloned the project then we got this front end over here and hopefully you guys already know that i've arranged all these templates right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and commit this to my github so that you guys can actually have access to the templates that we have here and you know so you can also work with it and i'd highly recommend that you guys should also follow this step-by-step -step guide here if you are not a professional react developer already then following this step by step should actually you know get you get you um pinned to the track you know so you don't get off track when trying to follow up with the tutorials i'm going to provide all this so that you guys can actually follow along with the tutorial let's go ahead and get started in the views folder the front end directory it says that we should create a new file called messages.js or just message.js so that means you want to come over to the front end you want to come over to the public uh, or not the public you want to come over to the source then the views folder and you want to create a new file we're going to call that one message okay just like that so you want to call it message.js just like this and we're just going to go ahead and activate the the functional components this one over here and i'm just returning message as simple as that okay you can as well type this out one one by one or you you download the extension this esj extension over here let me go ahead and look for it real quick this one over here it, no not that actually this one over here es7 plus react blah 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 components so that when you hit r r f c e on your keyboard you're gonna get this boilerplate code okay so after we've done this the next thing over here says that in the message js at the basic functional components we've done that then it says in the app js we should create a new route for those components so you want to come over to the app js and um you can actually go ahead and import the messages so I'm going to say import message from that and let's go ahead and create its routes. Okay. So it should be a private route, I think. Yeah, it should be a private route. So um, let's just do private. You guys, you can actually change all this to do blah, blah, blah. The ones that are supposed to be private, just change it to private. Okay. So that everything actually works well as, as expected. Now, private routes, I'm going to call this one. I don't know, maybe inbox. I don't know what you want to call it. Just go ahead and, you know, call it whatever you want. But I'm just going to call it inbox, as simple as that. And um, over here, we're going to replace this one with message. So hopefully you guys have followed the long way tutorial from the beginning. You already know what we're trying to do here. This is just like Django. When you create a view, you create URLs, as simple as that. So you're going to be able to access this inbox. Now, let's go ahead and run let's cd into the front end first of all and we're going to run npm starts but before you run npm starts i want you guys to install this um, i think that should be this over here the package json i want you guys to install all this and the fastest way to install this is to just hit npm install then it will automatically come into the package json and it's, it's gonna install all this if you don't install all those dependencies definitely you're gonna have an issue all right so do make sure to install it let me run npm start and see if i already have it installed if i don't then i'm gonna go ahead okay as you can see here i don't have it installed so let me go ahead and install it now but i need to connect to the internet so let me go ahead and turn on my my wi-fi and i'm gonna come over here all right, I'm going to connect. Okay, I'm connected to the internet. I'm just going to hit NPM install. And this should take some time. NPM, NPM, NPM install, just like that. Okay, as you can see, that started installing. And I also need to put in this, put another C, CMD side by side so that we can run Python CD to the back end, first of all. CD to back end. Then we can run Python manage.py run server okay 
hit enter as you can see this one is still installing so you just want to give it some time for it to do its thing and after it's done we're going to get back to the video and actually continue with what we have to do okay so let's just let's just give you some time to actually go ahead and finish installing all this okay so as you can see it successfully installed everything now let's hit npm start again and give it some time all right there you go as you can see it's it started working we just need to give it some time to go ahead and spin up the development server that then we will be able to see it on our browser okay there you go starting development server hopefully you can see this with me now and depending on how fast your system is it might actually load up slower or faster you know it's just up to how fast and slow your system is all right so as you can see it's loading up just give it some time i just closed up some tabs that i had over there that i don't need any longer let's look at this still starting but our api is actually working perfectly well so you could come over to slash api mm, let's see let me just pull login so yeah then you can see this send message profile search there you go so you can see everything is working now our react app has loaded up all we just need to do is visit the inbox page slash inbox hit enter on our keyboard um there you go see it's working i just searched for message it's working but this this huge nav bar is blocking it let's get back here and let's comment out this nav bar and let's see there you go it's working see this message over here is pretty much the message that we passed in here so you can say something like ha 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 and you see, as you can see, it reloads. Or you can say, banana, that's my best fruits. And as you can see, it reloads to banana. Is that the right spelling of banana? Okay, so after we've done that, let's um, let's get back to the to the app.js and let's uncomment the navbar again. Then this is gonna disappear because it's, it's really huge. Now let's see the next thing that we have to do. So back to this, we need to add the chat message templates and finally test it to see if that works well. So I'm going to open the templates, open up the charts, open up the index HTML. I'm just going to grab everything that we have over here and come over to the message. Then I'm going to replace this message with the code that I just copied right now. All right. So I already wrote this code for you guys. You don't have to stress about it. Everything is already here for you. Okay. So there you go. This is what we have. But we've got some CSS. I already wrote down some CSS for this that you could use and in order to get the css to actually work well what we simply need to do is we can we could create the css in okay just hold on a sec let me see so um there is supposed to be message css okay in the views here i think the best thing to do is create let's create a new folder let's call it style and in the style folder let's call it message.css okay you know why i want to do this because in the future we're going to go ahead and continue creating more projects like we could create like a blog we could create other projects i don't know but let's say we want to style our blog then all the styles will be in here all right i was thinking of just appending the style into the index css but that does not make any sense because we might want to create new projects in the future that need different styles so it just makes sense to have its own folder okay now go ahead and paste the style css code over here and you want to import it in the message. So how do you import it? You just need to say import. Then I'm going to put a dot slash. Then go over to where your style is. As you can see, it's in the style slash. It's called what? Message. Okay. Dot CSS. All right. Just like that. Now let's see. Perfect. As you can see now, the CSS is taking effect and everything is working perfectly well as expected. That is pretty much it. That's pretty much everything that we need. Now, the last thing is just to go ahead and put in the inbox somewhere here on the nav bar. So we need to hop over to the and open up the nav bar. And somewhere here in the to do, I think the best thing is just to grab this, put it here, and call this inbox. Okay. There you go. But we just need to change this one now from to do to inbox so that we can now see this inbox thing. Now, if we click on to do, as you can see, our to do is still here, still works perfectly well. And if we come over to inbox, 
then we now have an inbox that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys followed along with everything and in case you guys in an error drop a comment in the comment section below i will try my possible best to actually uh, to actually reply your comments and recently there have just been a lot of comments and if for any reason um you know i take some time replying your comments don't worry i'm definitely gonna get to it so just drop it in the comment section and definitely i'll try my possible best to help you out with any issue or any error that you're getting or you can as well just shoot me a mail to death gmail.com with your errors and yeah maybe i will still help you out there okay hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as that will really mean the world to me and also check out the links in the description below i've got three courses one of them i actually help you become a pro Django developer and even help you land your first job actually you know help you start up your own company or business that's gonna be it until the next video my love peace out